Well, she's collaborating with Ilana Reynolds here on my left hand side. She's in France. The two are dancers, choreographers, and they have never met in person. And already for two years they are doing a project about movement on a distance. Can I ask you to explain briefly what your project is about, Sabrina? Ilana and I, we actually started to collaborate about two years ago. And all of it started with a meeting that never happened. So we were supposed to work together uh, in a joint residency, then, but due to circumstances, we couldn't make it. And then we started to collaborate across distance. And we were starting to work with this idea about physical absence. So what does it actually mean to, to encounter and actually work together without being at the same time, at the same space? And then after this initial moment, we kind of got really interested about this, this kind of keeping this constraint alive and then seeing how it can like continue into, um, into different projects, especially as we are both like coming from dance and movement, we're like so much used to just share the same space and just dance together and move together. Um, so that's, this is somehow how it started and then we became more and more interested in dealing with physical absence and its relation to imagination and to fiction and how, does, how is another body, even if he's not here at this moment, somehow has some kind of presence and influences whatever we are doing. Um, is there anything you want to add? I think it is just a different frame of mind that I've started to focus on and what it means to move um, or have the, have the intention of moving uh, with having a duet with another person who is not there. So Sabrina and I had come up with many different kinds of methods in order to do that. For example, we would set up kind of rehearsals at the same time but in different places where we would give each other tasks to do. Um, or we would uh, read the same book at the same time, or do these kinds of, of actions that brought us some kind of a connection together, although we were not in the same place. We were sharing the same time, but not the same place. We also kind of figured out that in order, if there's not the physical presence of another person, and we are looking for ways to, to meet, to encounter, um, it actually opens up a lot of space for speculation. We've never shaked each other's hands. I don't know, we've, we've hardly seen each other in the full body, just mostly like just the face of another person. We've never, like literally never touched one another's skin. Like it's all personal research, but it's also something that a lot of people can relate to in their everyday life. We started an open call and we have sent it out and we collected an, an archive of stories as, as letters, as audio material and videos. Um, what we see here right now is a selection of this archive. You are all invited to contribute to this archive. You see a selection of fragments here, no longer than one minute, where people tell their stories about the absent other. Um, and especially in these times, in these COVID-19 times, we are so dependent on Skype and the internet to communicate with each other. We are curious how it felt for you. And if you wanted to send us something, you're more than welcome to do so.